Hi, good evening friends. I want to talk to you about a book. I have just been so blessed to read this book. It's called Mary, Queen of the Apostles. It's written by Blessed Father James Alberion, and I want to thoroughly recommend it. Unfortunately, the book is out of print. However, yay, there's lots of copies available um, through the different used sources online. And different copies are coming available. If they sell out, there's always new books coming available. Whenever he will be canonized, um, the books that he wrote will be reprinted. And I hope they print this book in mass quantities. I, it's a favorite. It, it's it, If it's not my most favorite, it's way up there. I think it's my favorite book that he wrote, though, um, because it's... It's his words. Um, he's not. He does quote. He does make quotes in the book. He uses references, but it's his mostly um, his own writing, and I really like it. It's not, uh, much of it is almost poetic, but in the book he talks about um, the different vocations that there are: um, the apostolate, the interior life, um, the apostle, the vocation to desires. Um, to prayer, to suffering, action, the family, teaching, celestial, um, movies, and radio. I think today he would have had YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all those. There are so many now. Um, all of those as well. The feminine apostolate, vocations, and the universal apostolate. He also in this book covers... Mary's heart, Mary and priests, Mary and the Holy Spirit, and Mary, mother of mankind. It's a really fantastic book, so I wanted to recommend it because we're still you still have time. You can read it before <laughs> the feast day of Queen of the Apostles. So uh, God bless you and your family. That's the I'm giving you the best I have to give you um, for today. That's it. Um, so. I um, hope you have a very restful night. I pray that if you're the person who has trouble sleeping, I pray that the Lord would let you sleep peacefully and well every night. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thanks for watching.